Hi Naptime friends, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a fun video. It's super exciting and it's my first collaboration. I'm going to be doing a resin art collab with Monica Barnes Art. And if you guys don't know who Monica Barnes is, please go check out her channel and her video. I will link her down below. She's an amazing resin artist and she's always making the most beautiful resin art. So we're just going to jump right in and get started. I'm going to be using the Artisan Mica Powders in Onyx and Titanium, this Glitz and Glam Pigment um, Stardust by Larez, and the Angel White Epoxy Paste by Larez, and the Sassy Red Epoxy Paste by Larez. And I wanted to show you guys really quickly too, if you do resin art, I like to reuse my little three ounce cups that I use for my colors. If you let the resin set up in those cups for 24 hours, you can totally reuse them and your previous colors won't bleed into your new colors. I just like to do that to kind of feel like I'm reducing waste a little bit when it comes to my resin art. So I just put a little base layer of clear down on my piece here. I mixed up my resin off camera. If you want to see a video on how to mix up your resin and your pigments and all that good stuff, I will link those down below. I have a resin art tutorial playlist. I just um, cut it out of this video to save time. And I'm going to go in with my Artisan Mica Powder in Titanium. And here I'm just putting the Onyx next to that. Our plan for this collaboration was to work on a round and then use the colors black, white, and gray. We didn't really have, you know, a set design in mind. We just kind of left it up to our imagination and our creativity to see what we were going to come up with. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of red here. You don't want to use too much of the sassy red because it can take over if you use too much. And I'm going to add a little bit of that new star pigment. This pigment, you guys, it's so pretty and sparkly. It's not a glitter. It's more like a finely milled um, mica powder. I'm not sure what uh, Susanna at Lores puts in it, but if you guys like that shimmer and sparkly look in your art like I do, definitely check out the Glitz and Glam pigments. Um, I'll link all their information down below if you want to get some and try some out. I'm just going to go in with my heat gun on high and move these colors around, kind of get the lines blended a little bit, and then I will uh, see what I'm going to come up with next. I didn't have a plan, like I said, on this one. I was just kind of going with the flow, seeing what I could come up with. Monica does some really, really awesome art, and her pieces are always just so pretty, and they're just like simple elegance I would say and mine sometimes can turn out kind of crazy but uh it was so much fun doing this collab with her I was so honored when she asked if I wanted to collab and I was like oh my gosh of course are you kidding me I would love to so definitely go check out Monica's video I will link it down below and uh go subscribe if you're not already subscribed to her channel so here I just added a little bit of that Larez Angel White and here I'm going in with my heat gun on low and moving that white around. You don't want to add too much heat to um, the Angel White because it can burn and then uh, your cells won't stay put. So you kind of want to go easy with the heat on the angel white but the angel white will give you really really beautiful cells I will show you that here in a minute right now I'm gonna go in and make some blooms I like to call them these are just uh, little puddles of the Lores angel white and I'm gonna go in with my heat gun on low and just blow them out just like this The Angel White Paste by Lores is so good for uh, cells and lacing. So to make these little blooms that I like to call them, what I do is just put my little puddle down and then I'll take my heat gun on low, hold it straight over the white puddle just to warm it up a little bit so it flows better and then push it out 
just in the different directions, just making a little flower. Super simple and easy to do. Just be careful with the heat, make sure you don't add too much heat. I'm gonna add one more of these right here in the corner. And with the angel white, you know, you have to heat it up and then just wait and the cells will develop on your on their own. You just have to be patient. And uh, you'll see here, I'll show you a video of the finished piece. It had tons of awesome cells from the angel white. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that new star just to give it some highlights and make it pop. This pigment is so beautiful and sparkly. It's not a glitter, so it's not gonna leave your piece with any texture. When it uh, cures, it cures nice and flat. It's just a really, really beautiful sparkly pigment. So what I'm gonna do is just take this to my dust-free zone and let it dry, and I'll show you what it looks like in 24 hours. And here it is, all nice and dry, all nice and cured. Look at that sparkle from the new star pigment. I have had that one for a while and I never used it before and I was like, what? How come I haven't used it before? It's just gorgeous. So pretty. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and be sure to go check out Monica's video and go subscribe to her channel if you're not subscribed already. She just does the most beautiful resin art and she's just so inspiring to me. I had so much fun doing this collab with her. So definitely check her out. I will link all that information below. I love this section right here, so pretty. And if you guys need um, any resin or alcohol inks or any um, mica pigments, check out the Epoxy Resin Store and enter code NAPTIME20 to save 20% on your purchase. They have resin for every single project you could imagine, any type of resin that you would need, and they have really, really great prices already, so the 20% will save you extra. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I hope you're all doing good and you're having a great day. And I will see you guys on Friday for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye.